With a game as big as Just Cause 3, you can never be sure that all of its secrets have been discovered. A lot of times you can still find hidden things years after the game released. And what I'll show you today is definitely the single most hidden one. In fact, this secret has only been discovered last year, in 2022, almost 7 years after the game released. And if it wasn't for one person, found this by sheer luck, it would have been never found. Similar to Just Cause 4, a developer area has been accidentally left in the game. But unlike Just Cause 4 where it was discovered right away, since it was less than a kilometer out at sea, this one is over 14 kilometers away. You don't even show up on the map anymore out here. Nobody ever found it back then, and it seems even the developers didn't notice it right away. Ed has been in the game for about 3 months for 2 patches. And once it was found by the devs, it was removed without ever having it made online. Well, until now. So, where is it? What is it? Who found it? And can it be modded back into the game? Well, on Just Cause 3's unused content page, a user named Lenny McLennington posted a video of a huge floating structure located above the main island. They said, This no longer exists in the current version of Just Cause 3. I flew around that area for a while to try and find it, but it's definitely gone in the latest version. I had to downgrade to a version of the game from March 2016 to record a video of it. In the video, they show that if you go a bit to the right of this oil rig and then just head north, eventually you'll come across this massive floating border. This is nothing unusual if you've ever been under the map, since they're all over the place there. And if you cross through it, you'll be greeted by this, a huge flat area with a single wall piece on it. At this point, you're probably wondering why this is even a thing. So let me explain. While the game was being made, the developers created several special areas to test things on. These used to be additional islands above and below the main map. One type of areas are galleries, that showcase items, vehicles, buildings, random encounters or chaos objects. The ones you see here are from a beta version of Just Cause 3 that I will showcase in a future video, just like the Just Cause 4 dev area. These are well within reach, but why this one is 14 kilometers out is still a mystery to me. So I downloaded the files for the March 2016 version of the game and looked through the files. And I found what I was looking for fairly quickly. The place is called DLC2 Environment Art Gallery, so it's fair to assume this was used to showcase and test various environment decorations for the second DLC, so Mickland Assault. However, only this one wall piece remains out here, so it looks like it was cleared at some point when they were done with it, but instead of removing it, it remained in the game, which is really weird. Naturally, I had to mod it back into the game, and luckily for me, Nothing important has changed since this version of the game, so I could literally just copy it over and define where it loads, and boom. It's now in the final version of the game and works perfectly fine. And of course, you can try it out with the mod link down below. I found it's easiest to find if you go to this place here. And stand on this rock. and then look between these two rocks underwater. Place the waypoint just behind you, then start going that direction. I used Precam just to speed things up here. And once your waypoint is 15 kilometers away, go slightly to the left so it loads in. And in case you didn't know, this isn't the only developer area left in the game. There's also a bunch of floating fences above the main island, though not so far out. Around here. This one was discovered a while ago, and was strangely never removed. This one is called Vegetation System Fence Test. The island this was on got removed, but the fences were forgotten about and left in. And if you're just as interested in this stuff as I am and want to see even more, check out my full unused content video for Just Cause 3, 
or go over everything unused that's left in the game. And get subscribed, as I've got more planned in the future. And with that, thank you for watching, if you have any questions, you can find me in the Just Cause Discord. And for everyone else, I'll see you in the next one.